Hello, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. We're getting started with your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Cancer. Um, we're going to take a look and see what is happening in love for you, Cancer. What's happening? So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. You're in a period of healing. So we have... Your person, this is their thoughts, feelings, and tensions with you. So currently we have the lover's card. Love it. Gemini energy. Your person is very much missing you. They feel that you're very different, very unique. Your person feels a great deal of love for you. This is a soulmate of the major arcana, Gemini energy. Four of Swords is the energy of Libra healing from an imbalance. Crossing you for good or bad at this time in terms of your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions. They want to balance things out. Libra energy. Libra, the major arcana, seventh house of marriage. I like it. So your person is really looking at you as a marriage opportunity, trying to see if the two of you have what it takes. Soulmate energy is driving them to this conclusion that you mel I can't talk this morning. You might well be their soulmate with whom they could establish a lifelong marital relationship with. Justice card rules the Seventh house of marriage, it's about the paperwork. You know, we look at it's legal obligations, it's all your partnerships, whether business or legal. But for you, this is romance. So your person is really thinking about this. We see at the bottom of the deck, they do have fire in their belly. It looks like the two of you have been through. Uh, some tough times and this person still desires you they want you this is like the soldier who is very well informed they've been off at war they've been fighting they're fighting the good fight and they're still in it to win it with you in the recent past the energy has been the seven of swords so there's been this person has been less than honest with you at times this person recognizes now that they need to be very balanced. Seven of Swords energy is like, you know, it's taking advantage of somebody. It's like, you know, this is a snake that's stealing eggs, so it's predatory. So this person really feels as though in the past that's what they've done, that you don't deserve it, that, you know, of course you're trying to heal from it, but now they want to balance things out with you. The best that can be achieved at this time is the Five of Swords, though. The Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords energy indicates that they've been predatory, that this is their nature, okay, Cancer, that they have done this. You, remember one thing. When somebody does something that hurts you, you have to understand that it's not about you. It's about them, that it's their nature. It's your nature to be the egg, you know, so what we're seeing here, though, is the Five of Swords. This person is still living with some shadow energy. So they're trying to hide. They're trying to not be seen. They're embarrassed. To me, this is a person who's working in the shadows or living in the shadow of something that they did, and they're afraid to come out and show their face. That's where, you know, that's my very objective reading of that energy that I see in the cards. In the near future, the Hermit card, they're going to be quiet. The Hermit card is searching for answers, but it is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is powerful in relationships because it's what gets you from the romantic part of the fifth house of Leo. Then you go to Virgo, putting your boots on the ground every day, doing the right things in the relationship to advance to the house of marriage on the astrology wheel. So it's very important. Virgo energy is being reliable, being there for you daily, taking care, doing what they need to do in the relationship. And that is their thought, their feeling, and intention about this. They want to be able to show their face again. In the energy of what they're actually doing right now, they're, the Seven of Cups is telling us that your person is doing some searching for answers, that they understand that if they do the wrong thing, that it's going to bring about a bad result. So they're trying to choose their actions very carefully. How they see you in this situation, you have mastery over your emotions. They see you as a person who is by nature somebody very powerful in your own right very much the energy that you are a leader that you're very successful that you're very desirable they see a lot of people around you that would like your attention but they also see you focused on them what is their worst fear and their greatest hope is that you are 
not going to let them go. You know, this is dandelions blowing off, you know, the seeds blowing off. And what it shows is that their energy with you in the past um, indicates that they have every reason to think that, you know, realistically, that you would be smart to do that. They are, you know, because a page is very smart. They're always learning something new. And so they're afraid that if you really get to know more about what they're doing or where they're at in their life, you may not invest in them. The outcome card for their thoughts, feelings, and actions. Good is to be strategic. We have the emperor card. The emperor card likes everything their way. You know, my way or the highway. The emperor, the reason that is, it's Aries energy. This person is used to being the boss. Um, in our society, the emperor is the person who rules over the laws of the land and enforces them. So what we get sometimes when we get negative emperor energy is somebody who can go rogue, you know, somebody who's not going to do the right thing, but it's in the upright position. So we see somebody who wants to come in, you know, it's a very good looking emperor. They want to dress up. They want to look good for you. They want, with this big mustache of branches, they want you to see them as more grounded, as wise. So there's a very powerful energy of them wanting to come out of the shadows and the things that they've done in the past. It does show here, though, the seven of cups is about not being focused on you completely they're trying to figure themselves out so let's go ahead and clarify the cards here we're going to do it with the kim Crans deck it is called let's see i have a hard time remembering this the wild unknown tarot well that makes sense for love the wild unknown of love all right so let's see what we have here for you why do we have the justice card? Why do we have justice? Well, your person thinks that you have every right to call them on the carpet. They think that you have every right to call them out for the things that they've done in the past. The fire in their belly, what's that about? We have, oh, nice, mother of wands. They see you as super sexy. They see you as somebody that they're willing to fight for. They see you as someone who is strategic and smart and fun and sexy. That's Aries energy. They want to they wanna do the, the, well, the horizontal mambo. They want to dance with you on the bed. <laughs> so what do we see here for the seven of swords? Why did they, this person feel as though they needed to be in that energy? Why did they feel that way? The moon card. Oh, your person has baggage. We call that baggage. The five of cups. This person doesn't really believe in love. This person has been hurt in love. They're always thinking that they're going to be hurt. They are not optimistic at all. They have wounds from the past. They're trying to heal. And look at that. Oh, my God. Yep, the Seven of Swords is clarifying the Seven of Swords. So in their world, they don't think that they can win playing by the rules. They haven't won playing by the rules. And so that is what has put them into deceptive, aggressive energy. Why do we have the Five of Swords for you here, my friends, Cancerian beauties? We have the Father of Cups reversed. This is a person who falls in love really deeply and chooses the wrong people. And so what we see here is that they know that they deserve, you deserve much better than this at Scorpio Love. But they are very concerned that they are twisty and that they won't be able to give it to you. You're not going to believe this. This is so crazy. These cards fell out during the shuffle. Five of Swords clarifying the Five of Swords. Seven of Swords clarifying the Seven of Swords. The Fool card says that they, they think you might be foolish to want a relationship with them. They feel like they're damaged goods. That's what I'm seeing. Your person feels that way. They don't like it. You know, it's made them very unhappy. So the Hermit card is their search for answers. What do we have here? They want to know if they should invest. If They they want to know if they're actually good enough to invest. What we're seeing here is Taurus energy. So they do value you. They see you as a good investment. The Four of Wands, they see you as marriage potential. Now the Four of Wands is reversed. So what I'm getting here is they would see you more as a person. They don't believe in marriage maybe. I think that's what they might say to you. But they certainly believe in living together with you like a married couple. 
So that's where they're at in that thought process. What is the Seven of Cups about? We have Judgment card releasing everyone else, taking you out of a karmic energy that they've had, that they brought to the relationship, releasing everybody else that they have dated, maybe simultaneously, releasing and releasing bad karma. They want to get over the karma that they've created with you. They see you as being very strategic. The female emperor is always very strategic, much like the mother of wands. They see you in that energy. They see you as a person who's powerful. Oh, look at that. The two of cups. They see you as marriage material, my friends. They see themselves as your soulmate. They love you. They might even tell you. This is a person who has some darkness here. You know that, though. The Mother of Cups, they, there you are in your reading, Cancer. I love it, love it, love it. They see you as very nurturing, somebody who can uh, really sort of, you see she's pointing, right? You're pointing at this sign like, oh, you know, Cancer, Cancer, you know, I'm a Cancer person and I want you to see the truth of the matter is that if you don't give me something to invest in, person that I love so much, I'm going to have to let you go. That's what they're seeing you. You know, that's a message that they're getting at this time. So right now, the Two of Swords, though, says short term that they're not really taking any action. The Two of Swords is, you know, they're, they're tr it's like talk to the hand. It's like, well, I'm really busy over here in my life being very successful. This is fear-based straight up fear-based energy that they're having so the hermit card is a ma major arcana it can take them up to six weeks is what i'm seeing to come through for you and then we get the nine of cups happily ever after but it is a card of eat drink and be merry it's a card that leads to happily ever after so let's look and see what the dark side here is in this person let's see what's going on heart of the fairy oracle will illuminate um, the really tough energies here for us. We're also going to look and see what spirit messages have for you. I want to share with you something very exciting. Um, there is very long-term marriage success research done by the Gott Gottman Institute that tells you that they can predict a successful marriage because successful marriages have five positive interactions for every negative interaction. All right, so what do we have? We have the energy. With the Seven of Swords energy, we have the hidden one. Yep, well, I would hide two if I were like this. The blessing, they do see you as their blessing. They do. They want to come out of this energy. The green man energy says that they're not proud of themselves. They feel a, a good degree of shame here. They want to make things right between the two of you. They want to stop this very almost addictive, wounded behavior that's toxic. Why do we have the four, five of swords? They see you as lady of the forest, a person who, with whom they should definitely come clean with. They see you as someone who's beautiful, almost childlike in your innocence, sweet, loving, caring. They see you also as someone who nurtures them. They are in a very immature energy. The child says that they have a lot of growing to do. Why do we see the energy of the hermit card here for you? We, oh, I, okay, we don't really read these in reverse. The shadow of the past is reverse. So that is actually what they're looking at. They're looking at what they've done in the past. That's very much a shadow energy. They're looking at this and they're trying to overcome it. What we see here is that when they, they get very confused. Seven of Cups energy is like, well, I don't even know what I'm doing over here. I'm going to take, I'm going to strike a pose and pretend that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that this person is really a hot mess in love, as we can see. Let's see why they're in this energy of being afraid that you're just going to, you're trying to point up to them, you know, point out to them that they're not being constructive. And what we get is they see you as the lady of sorrows who has healed. That they gave you a lot to be wounded about. That they brought this energy into your life. But you are now healing from that energy. So we get the magician card. They are manifesting you at the end of the day. I really love that energy for you. Let's take a look and see what the messages from Spirit are about this relationship and connection. Their thoughts, feelings, and intentions for our cancer friends. We see walking away. Well, we saw the Eight of Cups here, right? No, that's a different reading. Sorry. So the walking away is actually what they think you're going to do. 
you did walk away from them. It looks like you stopped talking to them for a period of time. Now, I think it's because they lied to you. They were deceptive with you. I feel as though they walked away, left you no option to walk away. But that is a spirit energy that is speaking to this darkness in the reading. I get door to, okay, door to value. They see you as a high value uh, person. They see you as a love interest who's very worthy. We also see them taking action here. I like it. Okay. So we see this, you know, we see two people who are very different, white and dark. <laughs> we see this energy of chasing. It looks like they, you know, they want to do the horizontal mambo or the upright mambo. And we get a man holding a coin. I think this person is very career focused. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from in the comments, please. Thanks, Cancer. Bye-bye.